To God be the glory, and welcome to this, your real illuminating moment. I'm O.W. Prince. Haven't you noticed that it is the vile, the wicked, the confused, the followers of the false Sunday gods and worshippers of images and crosses, priests and pulpits, who attempt to tell God how he should be God and to tell the saints that they should abandon the way, the truth, and the life and become Christians? But they never tell themselves how to repent of their religious pride and obey God's laws and commandments and keep themselves away from sexual immoralities. Haven't you noticed the double standard? They don't mind you being a Christian because see all types of demons live in Christianity and all types of abominations are welcomed among Christians and Christianity continues to change in order to tolerate the lusts and desires of the world and of her human occupants. However, the false apostle who will prophesy again, who sits in the east and rules the kingdoms of the world and conquer the world through his whore of a church, can't stand the born-again saints of Father Yahweh who live and speak the living word of God, the God who does not change and whose holiness and righteousness exposes them as false prophets, hypocrites, liars, dumb dogs, greedy dogs, vipers, fornicators, idolaters, demon worshippers, and enemies of God. The false apostle and his church kill the followers of the way, the truth, and the life in his Roman Colosseum and on his torture state and force the saints to abandon their faith and God's perpetual sign of the seventh day Sabbath upon penalty of death. Read your church history and read your scriptures. It's in there. He established a nation state religion that he named Christianity and used it to help conquer and colonize the entire world. We better repent of the mark of the beast and her false gods and pagan festivals and idolatrous religious and false Sabbath days. Hear you the word of God out of the mouth of his chosen and anointed prophets. For it is your decision to die and go to hell or repent. And it is written in scripture that the great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was hurled down to the earth and his angels with him. He will speak out against the most high Yahweh and oppress the saints of Yahweh, attending to change the appointed Sabbath days and laws of Yahweh. And the saints will be troubled and deceived through his false faith, demonic doctrines and pagan practices for an unknown length of time that only the father knows. The kings of the earth were immoral with her, and those who dwell on the earth were intoxicated with the wine of her immorality. Fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. She has become a lair for demons and a haunt for every unclean spirit, every unclean bird, every detestable beast. All the nations have drunk the wine of the passion of her immorality. The kings of the earth were immoral with her, and the merchants of the earth have grown wealthy from the extravagance of her luxury. Then I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins or contract any of her plagues. Repent! I'm O.W. Prince, and this has been our real illuminating moment. And as always in parting, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. Life indeed hurts, but God heals. Thank you, God. It is to God be the glory. Keep looking up.